Moldoc is a virtual reality application designed and developed at Linköping University for embodied exploration of molecular forces between biological macromolecules and smaller ligand molecules. Moldoc is optimized for a multimodal workstation equipped with stereoscopic display, co-located and co-registered with high-fidelity haptics such as the Phantom desktop. The unique features of Moldoc include stereoscopic 3D graphics, immersive graphics and interaction, and haptic force feedback. The haptic feedback simulates intermolecular forces, provides tool guidance, and allows for touch interaction with the integrated graphical user interfaces. Moldoc is routinely used in education at Linköping University and continuously developed and expanded with new features and functionality. Studies with Moldoc have shown that students learn more about molecular interactions and dynamics and about the complexity of the protein ligand docking process compared to traditional teaching. We conclude from our research that actually feeling the chemistry leaves more cognitive resources available for thinking and creativity. Our first example of protein exploration and docking is based on carbonic anhydrase, an enzyme involved in the maintenance of the acid base and osmotic pressure balance in blood and tissues. The disturbance of these balances are involved in many diseases. Therefore, blocking the function of carbonic anhydrase can sometimes help to restore the balance. Acetazolamide is a molecule that blocks the active site of carbonic anhydrase and that is used as a drug that helps against glaucoma, epilepsy and altitude sickness. An amino group in the ligand binds strongly to the zinc atom in the protein. Our second example is a protein called chitinase, which is found in a pathogenic human bacterium. Here, we investigate the docking of an inhibitor molecule called allosamidine. The ligand binds to the active site of the chitinase enzyme, making it temporarily inaccessible to the substrate molecule. This inhibits the natural catalytic reaction of the chitinase protein. Understanding more about the binding of inhibitors to this protein may contribute to the development of more efficient drugs against this bacterium and other similar types of pathogens.